You're watching Throttle House. I'm Thomas. And I'm James. And this is a drag race. <laughs> it's a drag race of two of the newest budget-friendly enthusiast cars. They're both manual. They both weigh in at under £3,000, and they start at pretty much the same price. So, we have Sunshine, a clean quarter mile in the desert, and less than four total litres of displacement. Let's go. This is the Toyota GR86. New and improved for 2022. I like this car because it's exactly like the old one, but just a little bit better in most of the ways. Specifically, there's no more torque dip, which means that in the moment when the torque of a small turbocharged engine might give me a problem, I don't have to worry about that anymore because I don't have that pointless dip in torque that the previous one had. It just kind of runs straight to the red line in a nice linear, naturally aspirated fashion. You know, it takes a brave man to take on an Englishman in a front wheel drive turbocharged hatch thing. It takes a braver man to take on a more powerful lighter weight, sporty coupe, but. Traction control off, got the whole thing. No fancy launch sequence to do in this because you know what? It's a manual sports car. And all I got to do is hold the revs, dump the clutch and shift. It's simple, pure, I love it. Okay, let's see if we can do this. out that the lighter weight, more powerful car wins. I'm sure I'm sure he's gonna be super humble about it. We're here at the finish line. I was uh I was here a moment ago this and I believe that moment like. was right before your moment. No but this it feels like it felt like this it was like neck and neck. Oh yeah is that what it was? Yeah. Okay. Um yeah okay so I won. You did yeah, yeah. well the car won. Right, credit to Toyota. Yeah, it, well, and the driver, the operator, pilot, you might say. Um, I got three words for you. Is it wheel hop? That's two. Uh, actually, it wasn't so bad just then. Oh yeah. But uh, it's NVH. NVH. Got, What's that yeah, about? Noise, vibrations, harshness. This is a, you know, calmer. Nice yeah, and this car. is a, you know, sports car. I want those noise, vibrations, and harshness. I don't want to be insulated from the experience. I got turbo noises. Should we do a rolling race? Yeah. With your turbo noises. You're gonna, this is where you're gonna get done in. Is it? All right, rolling race time, yeah. So now we're gonna remove his, well he hasn't got traction advantage. Look, I'm gonna remove his weight advantage because he'll still have that. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna lose. <laughs> That's all we're gonna do. All right, here we go. I'm gonna do a 30 roll. I can say 30 roll because we're in America. It's not like a 52 kilometer an hour roll. It's much less cool. And go! Oh, he's got some torque. Oh! That thing is, they've made that quicker. They've made that quicker. And horsepower and lightness wins. <laughs> They're pretty close. They're pretty close. It was closer, I'll give him that. Like on the road. On the road. They're not that different. They're not you're not gonna you're not getting a much slower car if you get a Civic SI. Hello. Thanks for giving me a foot head start there. Oh. 
Oh, did I? Yeah, I needed yeah. it. I didn't didn't matter. Um, it was closer, to be fair. So definitively, DR86 is quicker in a straight line. Than a Civic Si. Now you know, right? Um, we've been living with this one though, haven't we? Yes, and it is very lovely. It's lovely. It's well, really nice. Very few minor gripes. We've got a bit of rev hang. Yeah, the rev hang isn't awesome. And it but... doesn't have the Canadian things. Yeah, the so yeah, there's no shift lights, no heated seats, the whole thing, right? Yeah, because um, we just got out of the Elantra N. This has heated seats. Um, yeah, we did, which is also very good. It's good. This is a few things going on that's better. It's nicer to live with than the Elantra it's N. It's nicer to live but with. But it's not as fun to drive. And, yeah, the shift of feel. Right. It's fun to drive. I'm, I'm, I'm really excited for the Type R. Very excited for the Type R. I, I, I really, you know, I know this is big for a Civic, but I've yeah. really learned to like this, this. I'm actually super curious to know what happens between this and the Type R now. That's gonna stand no chance. Really? You've got 28 horsepower more on paper than yeah. this. The yeah. Civic Type R is gonna have like almost 100 more than that. I still wanna see it happen because the rear wheel drive helps. Yeah, you, know, you get it to hook Maybe up. Maybe we'll do it. a track test. Ooh, and that's a fun track. You want to see that? I want to see that. Yeah. Who's going to film it? I don't know. I don't know. We film all our stuff. Oh. Yeah. Okay, ready? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, we are incredibly excited for the 2022 track season. The GR86, or after today, the Grady 6, is proof that Toyota is still giving us the goods. And don't even get us started on the GR Corolla, which will, of course, see some track time with us this year. So stay tuned for that. Quicker than it's ever been in a straight line, the new 8.6 makes easy work of the similarly priced Civic. It's lighter, it's more powerful, and its rear-wheel drive setup paired with the naturally aspirated engine makes it the more sporting car by a large margin. Although after we filmed this, I did take the SI for a spirited cruise of Big Willow Race Circuit, and yeah, it's really good, even better at the limit than it is on the road. Considering how livable and refined it feels in day-to-day -day traffic, and especially given how much it doesn't weigh, it's actually a bit of a triumph. So, considering that these are the new enthusiast cars that are the kindest to your wallet, we are thoroughly impressed. And yes, the new Type R will avenge its little SI brother. You can count on that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> James, we've talked about this. You can't do an evil laugh. That one just sounds like you're enjoying some cake. Mm -hmm. James, you lost the race. Mm. Thanks for watching. <laughs>